morning trade as well. US dollar was bid in Monday session following uh, with the dollar index really following US Treasury yields higher after Fed Chair Powell uh, pushed back over the weekend on market pricing of rate cuts in March. Um, a beat in the ISM services PMI data also supplying the dollar uh, supporting the dollar index there. Um, the rate hike odds in March, for the, according to Fed Fund Futures, dropped down to about 17% now from the 35% chance that was priced in on the close on Friday. Uh, Japanese yen continued to decline. Um, dollar yen printing a new high for 2024 at 148.89. Um, US 10 Treasury yields really broke broke out above that 4% uh, yield level, seeing the US 10-year, Japanese 10-year rate differential really jump higher and take dollar yen with it. Uh, so dollar yen holding above that psychological 148 level, but really eyeing that 150 level where the chatter about intervention will come in again, no doubt. Um, Aussie dollar saw significant declines um, against the US. The US strength is also missing Chinese case and services PMI weighing on the Aussie. Uh, Aussie dollar traders, uh, tension today will be at the RBA rate decision at 2.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. The central banks widely expected to hold rates steady, but it will be the accompanying statement that will generate the most interest as usual. So will the, will the RBA take notes from the Fed and also push back on uh, rate cut expectations? Um, gold dipped to one week lows, um, the stronger US dollar surge in yields, making that non-yielding instrument uh, less look less attractive. So um, dollar, yeah, gold dipped to low 1025 before finding some support and retracing modestly. So gold continuing really to trade in that 2024 range of between 2000 and 2070 US dollar an ounce. So both key levels to watch to the down and upside for gold traders going forward.